Oh, oh double header! Oh God, go <laughs> there! Well, it has been a minute since we've been at Uncle Mark's Outpost. Life got pretty hectic the last little while, so we're very happy to be back. We have a very, very special crew here right now. They're actually out in the water. We're gonna connect with them later, but let's see what Uncle Mark's up to. What are we doing today, Mark? Hello, Jay. Uh, we're gonna try to get the flooring done in the Three Seasons room. Boom. Uh, Marcus Alberton, he watched these videos and when it came to flooring, he shot me a message. So that's where we got our flooring through. But uh, yeah, Mark's working on the flooring. Another thing that we should notice, did you bring? You're not using your new gift. I did bring it. Yeah. All right, we're gonna play back the clip of Mark getting his gift from a couple weeks ago. Like a blue handled East Wing framing hammer. He's missing a blue handled framing hammer. So if you've seen it, or if you wanna buy Mark a present, he's looking for an East Wing blue handled framing hammer. 22 ounce. 22 ounce. That's a big one. What does that box say? <gasps> Uncle Mark. Look at that. I guess it's you. No way. Any guesses what it is? No. You should know what this is, Mark. Or have a hunch. Is it? Did you? I didn't. Or Somebody you? did. Really? Somebody was watching the video. Look, oh, there's man. a card. Amazing. Thank you, Jonathan. Well, we don't know what it is yet. That's cool. Are we... Do you have a decent good. idea what it is? Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Is that the one? Yes, that's the one. Look at that. That's the one. That is it. Wow. The hammer that built the cabin and then went missing. Thank you, Jonathan. It was beautiful. <laughs> uh, thank you, Jonathan. That's awesome. <laughs> Gift wrapped and everything. Yeah. Love it. So, I mean, I put it on the screen half joking, but I thought maybe someone sends him a hammer. So, there it is. Being used. Uncle Mark pulled it out. There you go. 22 ounces. 22 ounces. Might be a little big for flooring, but that's okay. You won't have to hit it as hard. So what's the plan now? You get it the first piece square and then it goes pretty quick? Oh, oh yeah. Right, so I, I, I alluded to some people coming to film. These guys, I grew up. I, I gotta be careful not to age you guys. Thank you. I was Thank born in 1992. When did the show start? You weren't born yet. Oh. You were born in 86. We got Ange and Pete, host of Fishing Canada show. How many years, how many years has the show been going? This will be 38 years. 38 years. Yeah, this... Uh, I'm 39 years old. And he's 39. <laughs> yeah. Just let everybody know. He was just a young child uh, when I found him. <laughs> but, but, in all those years, this is your first time filming Uncle Mark's Outpost. Absolutely. And it will hopefully not be the last time, to be honest with you, Jay. Oh, thank you guys so much. Any uh, Anything you want to share about your trip? Obviously, Lake of the Woods itself is just breathtaking, no matter what time of year you, you enjoy it. But honestly, the highlight was this. We've what? traveled to so many outpost camps in our life and lodges, and, and by far, I told Jay this, I t Ant and I talked about this, this is the best hands down. That without, means a without lot. Question, without honestly. question. It's without un, question. It's unreal. We're not just blowing smoke up anybody's <laughs> butt here, by the way, okay? <laughs> no, it's not to, good. To really appreciate it, you have to come and see it. Well. Breathtaking. You guys, uh, yeah, when the episodes air, I will share them. An honor to have these guys here and to finally, we'd talked over the years and to finally connect and the rest of the crew here, it's been great. I cooked some fish for them. We got a boat back yet. Uh, Mark and I finished the three seasons room flooring, mostly Mark though, and uh, <laughs> we're gonna eat some fish and head back down. But Fishing Canada, the episodes will air. When are the episodes air? Probably February 2024. February. 24, yeah. So good. Yeah. Can't wait. All right, buddy. Thanks again, guys. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you buddy. Thank you. All right, quick break in the action, because once again, I need to say thank you to anyone that was involved with this Uncle Mark's Cabin project. It turned into something so much bigger than we ever could have imagined. From, you know, people that came and donated their time, the companies that helped with every aspect of the cabin, and then you guys for watching it. If you guys weren't watching it, it wouldn't have opened up all these opportunities. People we met along the way, companies we were able to partner with, and that leads us to the partner for today's video, that is Helix Sleep. They are the premium mattress in a box that we have at Uncle Mark's Outpost. We have six mattresses there, and the feedback we've got on them from guests and from us, uh, it's amazing. I mean, you can't control the fishing, you can't control the weather, but you control the accommodations, what you sleep on. And everybody has had amazing sleep. So if you are looking to order a new mattress in a box, you go to the Helix website, you can do a quiz, 
it'll pick the mattress based on your, your sleeping preferences. For myself, I like more of a, a firm mattress. Um, for the Outpost, we actually picked kind of one in the middle, a little more moderate to cater everybody's needs. And these mattresses, they come with a 100 night sleep trial. There's financing plans, there's a 10 year warranty, they ship right to your door in the box, free shipping in the US, and I have a code below for 20% off and two free pillows. So anyways, massive thanks to Helix for helping out at Uncle Mark's. And if you're looking for a new mattress, I would definitely recommend clicking the link below. So anyways, now we're headed to the reunion. This is where we invited as many people as we could back that helped build the cabin. It was just a small way to say thanks for everyone that uh, turned this into what it is. So back to the action. Man, this is packed. Welcome back to what we might be calling the final chapter of the Uncle Mark's Outpost Saga. We got a boat full of goodies and we're going to enjoy Uncle Mark's Outpost. I've only spent two or three nights down there. We were kind of planning this from the start or something I had in my mind. I don't know if the other guys did, but I wanted to bring back everybody who made this trip possible. That is what's happening. This is the kickoff to the Uncle Mark's Outpost reunion. If we can make it down to the cabin. We got a lot of gear. <laughs> who are you? What's your name? Where oh, are you from? Name, oh, I'm Andrew. I'm Andrew Boca. I did a design for Uncle Mark's Outpost. There you go. That's right. Andrew did some design work and did some design work for Catch and Cook. And we're like, you need to get up here. So we have so much stuff in here and there's going to be 15 to 20 people in total coming via the other boats from Lake of the Woods Marina. So anyways, enough talking. I think we got everything in here, so. Hey, you brought everything you need for the truck? All right, we're loaded up, everybody. Say hi. What's up? Next stop, Uncle Mark's for maybe the last time this season, unfortunately. We do have a couple groups coming in yet, but this might be my last trip. We're back. It feels so good. It's been a while. It's been a busy summer, but we got to enjoy this beautiful place. Look who made it. Hey, what's going on? Mr. Jeff, what good have we see. missed? Uh, not much, just a few, a uh, little northern and... You were fishing? Yeah, a little bit. Jeff uh, sent us a picture. He was on the dock. He beat us here already and was fishing in the area. So anyways, we got a lot of gear. I don't know how much I'm going to document from this weekend. This is just all to give back to the guys that helped so much with this uh, right dream. It yeah, it's going to be fun. A bunch of good people hanging out, eating some food, shooting some stuff, catching some fish. It's going to be, we're going to be enjoying it. No stress, just good times. You forgot Uncle Mark? Welcome to Uncle Mark's Outpost. Welcome back, everybody. This is all for you, Mark. This is what you requested. Just like that, my tay -tay is leaving. Yeah, oh, <laughs> That's a big chili. That's a big bowl of chili, boy. Yeah, we got that slop going on here, boy. We got that thick, thick stuff. <laughs> we got some uh, bread. We forgot to buy buns because we were at the store and bought a lot of things and forgot buns. So we've got uh, the local favorite. Uh, rye garlic bread. bread. Rye bread, which is not garlic bread. <laughs> in the oven. Working on you can make it garlic bread. No, really, I mean, we're not doing that. This looks good. How is it? It's, it's awesome. okay. That's awesome. <laughs> going for seconds and I haven't even had any yet. Hey, yeah, hold on, hold on. You, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, day two. Josh cooking again. Yay. We're back. A little brekkie sandwiches. Bacon got, bacon got a little hot. How was the master bedroom last night, Mark? It was very good. We contained your snoring. That was the goal. Yeah, that was the first time I've slept in the master bedroom. Really? Yeah, on sheets. And did you enjoy that? Yeah, it was very, <laughs> nice. very nice. We slept five people upstairs, maybe six upstairs. Six, five or six upstairs. Sam slept here. I slept in the three seasons room. There was a lot of people in here. All right, we're going fishing. Looks like a tournament blast off. I think we got five boats here now. Three, four, five boats. We got Mark and Richard from uh, Full Medics. So quite the crew. We're going to start with some walleyes and hopefully we didn't leave anybody at the cabin. That'd be quite unfortunate if someone runs out of the outhouse and we're all gone. <laughs> here we are. We got Andrew, Connor, and this guy. We got two in that boat, triple header. That's a nice walleye. Fast master him. There you go. See, Connor's got the big fish on her so far. <laughs> Not too big. <laughs> <Huge>. <laughs> we'll throw him. We're eating. That's good. We're on again. Oh, double header! Mo oh God, Connor! <laughs> hey! First Canadian fish! Let's go! The old Canadian double double. <laughs> Boom. Good kiss. Nice. <laughs> First one of the day. Beautiful. Yay. <laughs> go, 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 go. Crank, 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 crank. Let's go. Keep cranking, more pressure. Oh, big pike. Hey! 
Let's go. Well, that's exciting. There she is. Nice big pike. <laughs> Welcome to Canada. What'd you get, Sam? Nice walleye. Ooh, that's a nice big one. Could you pull them more horizontal? Yeah, there you go. Gone. Nice. Good job. Nice well, Andrew, what are your thoughts on your first Canadian fishing experience? I freaking love it. Yeah. I don't think I want to leave. Connor caught a couple. We're going to do a little harvest now. Good to come back and settle in. How was the day? Great. Well, everybody, nobody, nobody struck out. Look at this guy clean. He thought it was over. We brought another net. But it could be okay. What are we doing, Josh? Could be mental. Well, we're discussing the difference between the flavors of bled out walleye versus unbled walleye. Oh, that's walleye. a deep discussion. And I feel like you can't taste the flavor, especially if you use a premium product like Catch and Cook and you deep fry it and coat it and it has all that beautiful seasoning on it. You may not be able to completely taste the yeah, difference. Yeah, all true. Um, but if you just use a product like Smoke Salt, where it was like really, you know, mild and elegant, then you may be able to taste the difference. morning it's a bright sunny day bright beautiful sunny november 15th is that lake, crazy lake of the woods since we last checked in this video is going to be broken with a couple of our updates the reunion but today we're going down we're closing down camp and we won't be back till winter time And they're gone. Welcome back, Father. Yes. All right, so we're back. Uh, both of our propane tanks are empty. I'm gonna swap those out now. Batteries were dead, unfortunately, so I'm not sure what happened there, but we'll start by uh, doing the propane. Whew. Scotty to drop some other guys off. He's back now. We got some new goodies. So as you guys know, I rep Eskimo Ion. I use their gear all winter. It's amazing. They have some summer and fall companies as well under the umbrella of a company called Artisam. So they make a bunch of yard care type stuff. We got a couple goodies for the outpost. So they've got a company called Yule Tracks that makes quad trailers, which is gonna become super handy here for hauling firewood, luggage, whatever else. And then as well, they got Earthquake, which uh, is yard maintenance type stuff. We got uh, a weed whacker and we got uh, a wood chipper because we want to make like wood chip trails all the way here, which will be super nice touch. So uh, check out Artisan. Obviously they got Eskimo and Ion, but they got some cool yard care, lawn care type items as well. So you'll be seeing that showing up a lot in the videos. Okay guys, well, I'm gonna do one final walkthrough. I don't even think I've done really a thorough walkthrough and obviously the beds aren't made, the cabin's a little bit dirty, but I just wanna show you what we've accomplished now and uh, the guests that came this first year seem to really enjoy it. So thanks to everyone that supported us this first year and took the chance. Obviously we have some kinks to work out, so things were not perfect, but we got feedback from the guests and a lot of memories were made here. So we're gonna give you the walkthrough. Also, if you wanna book, you should probably book soon. June and July are almost completely booked. We've got availability in winter. We've got some spring and fall stuff, but first off, off. The front of the cabin is just stunning. That board and batten turned out so good. We've got security cameras, motion sensing lights, all that good stuff. These real link cameras are awesome. We can view from home. So tell if people are coming by. Into the cabin. Railings by Hunter Wire. Unreal. We got a little artwork on the wall. One of my favorite wildlife pictures. We'll start with the upstairs. Love how these stairs turned out. Here we've got five Helix beds, a lot of room. And then behind here, we've got storage for whatever you might need. Amazing view off the mezzanine here. Fan that helps circulate all the heat. That beautiful stonework by Doherty. Masonry there with the wood stove by Embers and Krebco. Here we've got our main dining room. Eventually we're gonna put some 
shelving in here for games and random supplies and just, you know, more storage. Yeah, like I mentioned, wood stoves, beautiful to sit by. It's cozy, it's real cozy. These Valencia theater seating, they've got lights, they've got their motorized reclining, unbelievable. Here, we got the guest book. It's been, uh, it's been filling up already. Nice Lake of the Woods map here in this cool artistic coffee table, flat screen TV, sound bar. We got the split unit heater slash AC. Uh, we got the sound bar flat screen. This is hooked up to the Starlink, which was one of the first things we bought. Uh, so we've got fast internet here in the middle of nowhere. Rempel Timberworks did these custom countertops with precision contracting. Those guys absolutely crushed it. We've got the cabinets from AYA, beautiful cabinets. Uh, what else is there? Fridge, running water, ice maker, all the utensils you need, coffee maker, toaster, hot water boiler machine. Uh, like I said, fridge freezer. We've got Wi-Fi. We've got a remote for the heat split there. Blueprints by our friend Joel Tremblay. Unbelievable. Storage in the closets here. We're still gonna maybe make some doors there and some, some shelving. Here's the master bedroom. Big old bed, these Helix mattresses are unbelievable. Nothing but good feedback on that. A little more JC Siemens artwork on the wall. Propane heat. This is the incinerating toilet. Uh, very cool. It burns your crap. Not, not an exaggeration. Literally just incinerates it. That'll be a feature of another video. I'm gonna thank my buddy Barry for these custom labels he made around the cabin. Uh, what else we got? A little more artwork. Running water, shower, hot water. Glorious. And then over here, we got the three seasons room, which we finished off. Well, not quite finished off. We need a little more, a little more on the edge there. We do have the generator outside, which is our backup. So, you know, if you're running the AC like crazy or need to charge the boat and the solar system can't do it, we've got the generator, which runs off of propane or off of gas, which is nice. So you have options back there. We got the arts band bunkie. We got the outhouse. If the incinerating toilet is taken up. Yeah, what else is there? Let's show you the mechanical room because this is my favorite room. There might be a mouse living in here. Water system by the Water E-Store, Gary the Water Guy. Unbelievable. What do y'all help us out with there? Yeah, then we've got the propane heater in here. On-demand hot water, Starlink, security camera. The Dakota Lithiums, shout out to Dakota Lithium. They came on board right at the start of this project. We've got 548 volt, 96 amp hour. This is amazing. This is what really makes it special when you don't have to run the generator, you can run it off the batteries. We do have to run the generator sometimes when we're running the AC all day, but that's part of it. We've got the whole inverter charger setup and solar panels that we got from SolarPod in the States. We've got an electric heater as well. We've got a webcam so we can watch voltage and things. We've got another temperature sensor. Uh, holy smokes, there's so much going on, but I think we're ready to lock the doors on Uncle Mark's outpost and call it a season. Obviously, I didn't mention all the people that were involved in building this place. I asked you guys for a lot. My YouTube family, you guys, you guys exceeded any expectations I had. The friends I made through all this, all you guys that came and helped, it, whether it be just encouragement or actually came and swung a hammer, uh, I will be forever grateful. We're gonna have more, uh, more shindigs here, more get-togethers. But Uncle Mark's outpost is officially done for the open water season for 2023. Once again, thank you guys so much. I can't believe we built this. It was, it was with you guys. Without you guys, without you guys watching the videos, with all the sponsors that supported this, and you guys that came and actually put blood, sweat, and tears into this, and this guy named Uncle Mark. Yeah, wild that we pulled it off and had guests in it this season. We're gonna keep going. Can't wait to come back this winter. Anyways, guys, wear your life jackets. Show some love to the people that showed love on this project, and we're gonna see you, I don't know when, but it'll be at Uncle Mark's Outpost.